Uh, all right, so let's take this spicy, spicy question. Would you agree Walksnail is on the bottom three of the digital systems? <sighs> Here's why this question is super awkward. Hold on. Look what came in the mail today. <laughs> Look what came in the mail away today. I literally haven't even opened it. Let's open it together. You know, this is especially awkward because yesterday, uh, Kevin Turner, uh, who lives, he's Evan Turner's dad. I don't know if you know this, but Evan Turner lives about 20, 25 minutes from me. And I'm friends with his dad. I I'm, hope, I, hope I could say I was friends with him too. But uh, if, I'm, if, I, if he doesn't consider me a friend, he's too polite to say so. Uh, <laughs> and um, uh, Kevin Turner was like, well, I got mine. Do you want me to just bring him over and you can borrow him? And I was like, well, the tracking said the, come on, boys, let's get this. The tracking said that these weren't coming till Wednesday. So I was like, okay, I'll get a two day jump start on, uh, on looking at him. And he came over and dropped his goggles off. And, uh, then literally this morning I got the notification it was delivered. So I don't know DHL what's going on, but yeah. So, um, I got, a. I got these HD Zero goggles, so. Is Walksnail on the bottom of the three digital systems? The answer, as always, depends on your preferences and your priorities, okay? So, there's a person out there for whom HD Zero is number one. A person who cares most about low, consistent latency and a very connected feeling. A guy like, well, I'm going to stereotype, a guy like Mr. Steele. Now, Mr. Steele doesn't fly HD0 as far as I know, and I wouldn't, I don't think he's spec, he, I don't think he's talked publicly about why he still uses analog on his freestyle quads uh, instead of HD0. Um, I would say, without question, HD0 has better image quality than analog under most situations. It has comparable range, milliwatt per milliwatt. So there certainly could be an argument that if you love analog, you like low latency, then switching to HD0 is a step up and that HD0 is number one. But I think that the popularity of DJI because how long has HD0 and DJI both been on the market? Since 2019-ish? I think the original SharkBite system... God, I can't... I can, only, I can barely remember. I think the original SharkBite system was kind of... Came out around the same time as the DJI system. And I think I vaguely remember people joking, oh, they, they rushed it because they didn't want to get cut out the market. I don't, I'm not sure I'm remembering those dates correctly. But they've been out for a couple of years. And I, I don't think there's any question that DJI has much more popularity than HD0. So what does that mean? What can we infer about people's preferences and priorities? And we can infer that there are a lot of people out there who care more about resolution, image quality, range, and penetration than they do about latency. And that's where DJI and Walksnail both crush. So what's number one? Well, it depends on your priorities. If you're a person who's uh, more concerned about latency, HD0 is number one. Now, between DJI and Walks, so so that's the first thing. Walksnail's either going to be number one or it's going to be 
number three. I don't think there's any world in which Waxnell comes in number two for most people because most people are going to divide it. I think they're going to divide it out that way. So then uh, DJI versus Waxnell. I mean, it's tempting to say DJI, no question. DJI's got the O3 air unit, 1080p resolution. DJI's just got a lot going for it. Waxdale's got a lot going for it too, though. Um, Waxdale's got the 1S video transmitter. DJI doesn't have that. Waxdale's got a lot going on with like uh, with community integration, things like custom OSD, custom fonts. Waxdale seems a lot. Now this is. This right now, this is not as true as it was three months ago, because it seems to me like DJI, they c get close to a product release and the, <laughs> this is a, this is a terrible insensitive analogy to anybody out there who had this experience, who had this experience in their life. Please know that I don't mean to make light of your situation, but the analogy that I like to use is that DJI is kind of like your dad who left to get cigarettes one day and didn't come back. Oh crap, I'm lagging. What's happening? Am I lagging? No, okay, I'm not lagging. I saw a little bit, I am lag. What? Uh, okay, I'm not showing any dropped frames. Let's keep going. I don't see you guys complaining about it. Let's keep going. So yeah, so DJI, he's your real dad. And, uh, it, and then he showed up for your 16th birthday out of the blue and uh, brought you a new car. And you were like, dad, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. I've been, I've been calling, I've been writing letters. I never heard back from you. And uh, he's like, oh, I'm back, son. I love you. I brought you a car. Oh my God, it's so good. And then, uh, you know, spends the weekend with you. And then uh, goes away again. And it seems like that's what happens with DJI with their product releases. It seems like when the product release is imminent, they get super attentive and super responsive. And shortly after the, you know, in a few months, then they'll go away and they'll work on the next big thing. And all those things you wanted, if they didn't get them, you're not going to get them. So right now, DJI is super attentive, attentive and responsive. And, and I, I just, I don't know if that's going to stay that way. It would be great if it did. But uh, yeah. So I think Walksnail has something going for it. I think purely technology-wise, DJI wins in terms of image quality, link range, usable link range, just technology as a whole, DJI's ability to throw a gajillion dollars at the pro and all of their engineering might, which is substantial at the problem. Uh, it, it's hard to top them. Uh, but Walksnail is doing a pretty good job of identifying, you know, uh, it's like fight your enemy where he is weak and you are strong. Don't fight your enemy where they're strong and you are weak. So Walksnail is doing a good job of fighting in the areas where they can excel and trying to be as good as they can be in the areas where DJI still basically crushes them, which is just pure image quality. And, and especially with the O3 air unit out now, walks in, I was just like, sorry, you, you're not as good. Um, but they're, they're, they're good enough. My personal take, my personal take would be probably DJI walks nail HD zero. Because I, I care more, like I'm, I'm not a guy who feels like having the lowest possible consistent latency is as important to me as having that, that glorious clear picture. That's my personal take. I wouldn't take Waxnail over DJI. I still think their technology has a, a ways to go in terms of like, I still don't think their 1200 milliwatt output power is actually working as consistently as it should. I think, I think the signal gets very inconsistent uh, and, un and less reliable, not unreliable, but less reliable. Um, DJI just makes much better hardware today. Maybe that'll change.
So I don't think Waxnail is the clear number three. That's my personal take. But I think either it's going to be, for you, it's going to be HD0, and then I don't care, DJI Waxnail, don't care. Uh, in fact, maybe the kind of person who loves HD0 would be more attracted to the slightly more community-oriented connection of Waxnail, and a person might go HD0, Waxnail, DJI third. That's my take. Um, yeah, all right. Good super chat. Thank you, Quad City Bay Area, for the $2 super chat. Thomas Conrad, that is a, such a good question. I got to answer it right now. Here is the situation. You, you may notice that it went way back when, at the beginning of the stream, when they asked, you know, rank the top three, the, the three digital systems, how would you rank them, was essentially how I interpreted the question. Waxnail was always number two. I said that if you were extremely concerned about latency, then you would put HD0 number one. Sorry, DJI number two. Well, uh, never mind. Waxnail wasn't always number two. What would it take to make Waxnail be number one? It was is now what I'm thinking about. If you bought the HD0 goggles, then. And this is what I think is one of the one of the most exciting things about these goggles. You can do HD zero, obviously, it's built in. You can do analog. They have a module bay adapter for the side, and you can do walk snail via the HDMI input. This goggle is the Swiss Army knife of FPV goggles. And if you're the kind of I know so many people. Okay, I don't know that many people, but I know some people who like walk snail comes out, they buy walk snail. <laughs> DJI comes out, well, they buy DJI. They just want to try everything. If you're that person, then this goggle makes walk snail way more attractive than DJI because DJI doesn't make a standalone receiver. And if I, I can't, it's so frustrating. I had analog goggles, then DJI came out, and now I have two sets of goggles in my bag, analog and DJI, and then Waxnail came out, and now, what am I going to have three sets of goggles in my bag, and now HD0, and ah, so many goggles! Well, you can do just about everything you want to do with these goggles. Just about. It's tempting. Ooh, long range walk snail wins over DJI. That's true. DJI still tops out at something like 20 kilometers on the O3, 13 kilometers on the uh 13 kilometers on the on the V2. Um 